Hi, this is a very quick video where I want to show you some of the awesome stuff, a small, small portion of the awesome stuff you can do on GitHub, a great place for sharing and collaborating on code. Uh, so, GitHub is a place you find at github.com. It's uh, uh, well, a, a very big platform for people who like open source and like to collaborate with others. And the idea on GitHub is that you can create repositories which contain projects, usually code for, for projects. And then you can manage the code there and you can have issue queues and you can discuss changes and you can uh, suggest changes to others' code and, and things like that. Um, so, this is GitHub where I'm logged in. By the way, GitHub is free to use. Uh, you can have a, a paid account as well and that allows you to have uh, non-free, non-shared code as if you want that too and you can do, I think, some other stuff as well. I use a, a free account and it works just fine for me. So, for example, here are my repositories and I can open, say, glatesh. Uh, which then contains, this is a project that contains two files. It has a readme, it has a, a JavaScript file. The readme displays here. And you can write on GitHub, go and watch this file, see what it look, looks like. You can check out the raw format if you want to copy the actual code and, and put it somewhere. You can edit, and I probably don't want to do this right now, but I could. Well. Actually, I can. Now I edit the actual code here and I can add a comment to this function. Let's actually have a comment block, so I'm going to copy this. Um, the latest expression fetches the last used, last entered the tesh expression or uses a fallback. Something like that. And I can here make a commit message sh uh, showing others and myself what this was, like adding a comment block to, um, what was the function name? Latest expression. There. Commit changes. And now the changes are here on GitHub. And then one going to this project can see that these two are the files and here are the last uh, latest commit message you can even see what has been changed here things like that all this is driven by a version control system called git which is really awesome and if you want to work with with uh, git for real you should really have it downloaded to your computer and have uh, changes pushed to Gis github uh, via some connection instead of entering code manually on GitHub. But if you're working on Google scripts, uh, then it might just be as well to just copy and paste stuff into uh, GitHub uh, and edit files here. You can add files here as well if you want to have new files and things like that. Uh, then what you, you have, um, you can have issue queues for your projects. Issue queues, there are no issues for Latesh right now. Let's actually have a look at some other project I'm running, like Student Matrix. Here we have issues, and I actually added a README file uh, half an hour ago, so I could open this comment here. Someone says you should have a read README file. A short README has been added. Comment and close. So you can manage your issues here. That's kind of useful. One of the coolest things though is this, that you can find someone else's project and uh, here are a few projects I'm interested in. So for example this uh, G regression or regression JavaScript framework, sorry, here, managed by someone called Tom Alexander. You can go in and, and look at uh, files in this project, for example, this one here. And if you find something that you would like to uh, change or, or do some editing in, for example, we might want to have a uh, blank row at the end here. You could click edit, even though this isn't my project, I can click edit. And now I can edit here, 
And if I do this, let's see. Oh, it was a blank line here, okay. So I won't uh, propose this change, but I could say added a blank line at the end, and I can propose the change. And now I haven't actually made, it, made any changes, but if I just add something here, I can propose a file change. This will create a new project, project a clone of this project. I'm not gonna do this right now. A clone of this project that is my own. And then Tom Alexander will have uh, something called a pull request saying that Johan Falk would like you to pull these changes into your project. And what's happening from, from a version control perspective is that I'm forking uh, Tom Alexander's project, taking every work he's done, making it my own, doing some changes, and then saying, hey, please pull these changes back into your project so we can continue working together on it. That's kind of useful. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's quite easy to get started on GitHub. Uh, log in, create an account, and then you can create a new repository here. And then you're good to go. Um, they do recommend that you uh, add a, a readme to every project you start, and that's a good thing. Uh, what else? Yeah, some licensing is always good to have open source license on, on things you put on GitHub because that makes people happy. And there is a guide for that as well when you create new projects. You can see here. Repository name, make it public. Private is not acceptable, uh, uh, accessible for me because I have a free account. And I can initial, initialize with a readme and I can add a license, say, GPL version 2. That's kind of it. Uh, there's a whole, well there are books written about the Git version control system and I'm not going into details about that right now. But if you haven't seen Git, it's, it's uh, really useful. If you work on large code projects, you need something like Git to, to have it uh, going and, and manage version control. <sighs> this wasn't such a short video, but I hope you, well, got something out of it. Maybe not enjoyed it, but maybe it was um, helpful. See you some other time. Goodbye.